Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to do a retest of those two phones here the Redmi Note 10 Pro against the LG Wing both of them recently got new camera updates and I want to yeah, do a little camera comparison between those two to see if the Redmi Note 10 Pro can beat the LG Wing in terms of cameras you know the LG Wing uh, former flagship device of LG, the last flagship device of LG and the Redmi Note 10 Pro, yeah, the budget mid-range killer that is basically killing everyone in this price range of 280 euros in the camera department. So I would say let's get started. <laughs> The highlight of the Redmi Note 10 Pro is definitely this sensor, which is the main camera sensor on the back. It's a very large sensor, unheard of in this price range, one over 1.52 inch size sensor, which is just phenomenal for such a small and lightweight design of this phone. So you get this nice background blur for vlogging ideally because you have a headphone jack you can plug in an external microphone as well just like I did here and this is really really a nice way where you can uh, vl do vlogging with nice background blur and yeah let people think that you are using a much more expensive camera gear or smartphone. So this is really the highlight of the Redmi Note 10 Pro and you can tell me in the comment section what do you think about this video recording here. I think it's full HD 30 or 60 frames per second and it is uh, yeah, stabilized electronically because there's no optical stabilization. What do you think about the colors? Uh, it's a bit of grayish day today so not much to work in terms of HDR but still I think you can get a nice impression and did everything or anything change in this camera after all the updates that the Redmi Note 10 Pro received. The LG Wing's main camera sensor has no slouch either with a sensor size of uh, 1 over 1.7 inch though it is uh, top notch in terms of mid-ranges it is not playing around with the flagships because of the processor being slow with the 765G processor. But what do you think about the stabilization? We are playing default settings here right now so 1080p 30 frames per second also on the Redmi so to make it fair and square. What do you think about the uh, LG Wings video quality. What I noticed with the LG Wings main camera is if I go a little bit further away with the camera my face gets out of focus very quickly, it loses my face very quickly and focuses on the background which is not ideal so I have to go a bit closer but then you don't get this vlogging feeling. So for this vlogging feeling it makes a lot of sense to have the ultra wide angle camera instead and gladly both the LG Wing and the Redmi Note 10 Pro feature an ultra wide angle though a little bit different on paper the LG Wing is a clear winner but we will see so let's check out the LG Wing's ultra wide angle first and then compare it with the Redmi Note 10 Pros and you tell me which one has the better stabilization colors and so on. So this is now the ultra wide angle on the LG Wing roughly the same position that I hold it or held it last time with the main camera. So this is what you can see in terms of ultra wide angle. I think it doesn't have autofocus. Let me try. Nope, it doesn't have autofocus on the ultra wide angle. This is always a weakness of LG phones. They invented basically the ultra wide angles on phones or were the first that put it in and make it like uh, yeah, mass consumable. But they didn't put enough effort into improving it further just like with autofocus for example a macro photography where you can get close-up shots with this all these nice little effects that you can do with the ultra wide angles not here for some reason and yeah but still I think in colors and in terms of stabilization this one is really really good and uh, also dynamic range a little bit at least you will get with this as well. So what do you think about this? This is 1080p, 30 frames per second, the default setting that is recommended and people told me yeah do higher settings, do higher settings, but if the manufacturer tells me 1080p 30 is our best setting then I'm using it because this is what most of the people who just like want quickly try, try to start to vlog are using because they're using the default settings. Of course in settings you can go up and have better quality if you want to and this is a specialty of the LG Wing as well because it features 4K on, on almost nearly every lens as well 
This is now the ultra wide angle on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. This is how wide it can get. And this is the stabilization. These are the colors that you can get with the Redmi Note 10 Pro. The limitation of the 8 megapixel sensor is first of all, it's 8 megapixel and it's one of the cheaper sensors adequate for the price region. Basically, the Redmi Note 10 Pro sits in. But it is a bit of a bummer and clearly I think you can see that the LG has a bit of better performance. Of course this one doesn't have autofocus if I put my hand here it will not focus on this. So also no macro shots are available with this one because it features a dedicated macro camera for this. But the issue with the LG Wings uh, camera is also the ultra wide angle camera is also that this the 1080p 30 frames per second is the maximum resolution and the maximum frame rate that you can get so no 1080p 60 and no 4k at all on the redmi note 10 pro probably the processor the snapdragon 732g i think it is is not powerful enough to do this but what do you think about the ultra wide angle how does it compare to the lg wings one of the cool features of the LG Wing is the wing mechanism that allows you to use the front-facing camera and the back-facing camera, the gimbal camera, which is basically an ultra-wide angle 13 megapixel uh, camera that uh, crops in a little bit and allows you to use the yeah, gimbal stability. stability. Uh, no autofocus though on the front, um, on the back, I mean, and on the front as well. But you have yourself like in this uh, video and you can even switch. So now I'm big in the frame here and what I'm seeing is like a bit smaller. So this is possible uh, with the LG Wing. It's a nice little gimmick. I'm not sure if I saw it the first here on the Wing, but uh, yeah, what about the Redmi Note 10 Pro? Despite having less processing power, the Redmi Note 10 Pro also has a dual video mode where you can see the front and you can see the back me, basically. And I can also switch between those modes, as you can see here, like this or this. And I can even take snapshots, which is nice. I can do this, but I can also do this if I want to, and I can move uh, this around wherever I want to. So this is also possible with the Redmi Note 10 Pro. The nice little feature about the wing is you can record both video streams in separate files and then cut them together the way you like it, which is pretty awesome. You cannot do this here on the on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and I think the user interface is a bit of lacking because I would really would want to have like an option like just like on the Honor 50 we have one full screen front camera and I can switch the camera to the back camera if the action is happening or I want to show you something which is pretty awesome you saw it in the intro where I was using the Honor 50 uh, so yeah this is the dual video recording mode on the Redmi Note 10 Pro last but not least the 16 megapixel front facing camera of the Redmi Note 10 Pro as well as the internal microphones that are recording right now on the device. What do you think about the colors? What do you think about stabilization? This is 1080p, 30 frames per second. This is the maximum the front facing camera can do. And this is the sound quality that you can expect. So do you think this is the Achilles first in terms of uh, vlogging and in terms of the camera system of the Redmi Note 10 Pro? Is there any improvement in regards to the Redmi Note 10 Pro in comparison to previous versions? Write it down in the comment section and now we will check out the LG Wings front facing camera. And this is now the front facing camera, 32 megapixels of the LG Wing and the good specialty about this one. It's one of the rare cases where you have 4K video recording, only 30 frames per second because I think the chipset is not fast enough to do 60 frames per second. But it's there, 4K on the front facing camera and I think this pop-up front facing camera is pretty good and nice and I think stabilization and colors are also working pretty nice. So is this a vlogger's dream? What about the audio quality? I don't have a microphone attached to it. Um, what do you think about it? Just write it down in the comment section and uh, yeah, that's basically everything for the videos. Now we will check out a little bit of photography and uh, yeah, a bit of comparison in terms of photos. Let's take a look at photos and we have on the left the Redmi Note 10 Pro always and on the right the LG Wing. So what one can we see here in terms of low light photography? Who is the clear winner? What we can see on first glance is more contrasty look on the left and a more uh, natural look, less contrasty look, maybe perhaps a bit brighter look on the LG Wing. 
And when we zoom in, we can see another thing that is pretty interesting. Both have some kind of um, noise going on. I think it's a bit more pronounced on the wing and it's less pronounced uh, on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, but you can see why, because there's denoising going on heavily, if you can see in the background. What we can see also is that this denoising probably also leads to less sharpened photo. What we can also see is, on first glance, we have a little bit more cropped in image on the LG wing because the lens is simply a little bit uh, closer. Uh, then a wider lens on the Redmi Note 10 Pro also leads to less uh, details maybe. Take a look at the sign here, Gänseblümchen clearly readable, not readable at all on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So also darker a bit in terms of exposure and yeah, not so clear as on the wing. The wing has more, more noise, but is a bit clearer to see. When we take a look at the next one, it's a bit the opposite way around. I like the colors more and the more contrasty look on the Redmi Note 10 Pro gives it a bit of a more vibe. And you can see it here also in the sign that the LG Wing also has some kind of denoising filter going on, but this one failed here on this uh, apotheking sign. And uh, when we take a look at the pharmacy, we can see that the more contrasty, punchy look also looks a little bit better on the Redmi Note 10 Pro here because it's not looking so overblown in terms of highlights. Uh, the opposite on the wing where we have overblown image and uh, yeah, this is uh, definitely visible. We can also see that we are a bit punched in here and we can see a bit more noise creeping in on the wing, but we can also see a bit more details. And this is something that will go through all the photos, even this one where the Redmi Note 10 Pro in this dark alley that I photographed here looks a bit brighter, looks a bit handling the uh, darker situation a bit better in night mode. But when we zoom in here, we can see a clear difference in terms of details, in terms of yeah, rendition of, um, yeah, basically the optics, I would say, of the Redmi Note 10 Pro, that despite having the higher megapixel counts, they cannot deal with the sharpness of the wing. And this is not only the night mode, where you can argue maybe it's like some kind of denoising going on, because we can see clearly a bit more noise on the wing. Mm, when we go to the daylight, we have the same issue. What we can see here in terms of colors first, by the way, it's autumn here in Cologne. So of course we have some leaves, we have nice colors that we can photograph like uh, this green and this uh, yeah, orange brownish kind of leaf. And when we take a look at the colors a little bit more careful, we can see that it's a bit more brighter here. It's a bit more punchy on the Redmi Note 10 Pro that gives the effect of more sharp sharpness going on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. It is looking a bit more sharp in general on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. But when we zoom in, what we can see is clearly more texture, more sharpness in general is on the LG wing. Though you can see here on the edges it fails and the Redmi Note 10 Pro has this a bit more sharp. Could be that they chose a different um, different focus point as well. In terms of colors, a bit more punch on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And this is what we see also in other photos just like this one here. We have a bit more contrasty look in general and a bit more punch in the colors of the Redmi Note 10 Pro that we don't have on the wing. Take a look at the stairs here. What we can see here, the wing has the more natural colors. You can clearly see that there's a little lip of, of the stairs that is like protruding over the uh, body of the stair or the, 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 yeah, the stem of the stair however you want to call it. And you don't see that so much on the Redmi Note 10 Pro because it's like a bit too dark, a bit too much contrast inside of here. On the same notice, what we can see is like a bit more sharpness here in the, in the uh, leaves. But I could argue that it looks a bit artificial here on the wing already. And when we take a look at the leaves here, well, let's stay there and compare it with here, you can see that we have the more punchy, more contrasty look on the Note 10 Pro that usually is done when you have like not so much sharpness, not so good optics. And we have a bit of over sharpening going on on the wing. And what we can see here also is the color change, uh, more punchy, a uh, bit more contrast, but still I think here we can see that the Redmi Note 10 Pro has a more natural kind of sharpening applied because it is like looking a bit over processed on the LG wing. So this is neck to neck still, but when it comes to the ultra wide angle, there is definitely no way 
that the Redmi Note 10 Pro can win. It is like boosting and punching uh, contrast and colors in here even more and sharpening applied even more on the ultra wide angle. We can see the ultra wide angle is a bit more white on the LG wing already and it is a bit more natural in terms of colors toned down and not so contrasty. So let's zoom in a little bit to see you this, uh, to, to give you this as well. Eight megapixels versus 13 megapixels. So clear winner here is the LG wing, you could say. Uh, but not because of the megapixels, because it has better optics and yeah, the better balance as well here. Let's just go to the left here where we don't see any tree and let's go here and see the wing and we get the tree at least. But at the same time, uh, we can see also we have sharper edges on the Note 10 Pro and the more wide angle fish eye look of the uh, wing has to be compensated by less sharpness at the edges. So both very fantastic shots in terms of wide angles but i like the wings uh, colors simply more because the redmi note 10 pro is doing too much bad stuff so it doesn't make sense to compare the super wide angle anymore the clear winner is the wing when it comes to zoom in both don't feature uh, extra zoom lens or telephoto lens so you have to deal with the crop in of the main sensor and here we can see it even more that the optics of the wing is just simply better not only because it's a closer in general a closer photo lens in general but also because it is just simply a better optic the lens is just better you can see it here still a bit of sharpening going on but this 10 times zoom of this bunny and his family in the background is a lot clearer on the wing you can see it here more details on the wing it's all it is already a painting on the redmi note 10 pro without zooming in if i zoom in it becomes even less more abstract if i zoom here on the lg wing also very abstract but you can see more details on the wing definitely uh, so this is one very extreme test of course and this zoom capabilities we will talk about later a bit let's take a look at the main camera and here i have to say i like the main camera of the redmi note 10 pro in this situation better so here the lg wing chooses a bit of more darkish um more yeah more darkish photo it creates a more darkish photo it has a bit of over processing going on here which i really don't like and when we compare it with the wing uh, with the redmi note 10 pro the wing with the redmi note 10 pro i think the more punchy colors here again are more realistic on the redmi note 10 pro interesting enough it has the better exposure definitely less processing less sharpening going on i think here on the Note 10 Pro, let's take a look at the side here where we can see the optics are better on the wing, definitely. It's getting a bit unsharp here on the Note 10 Pro. There's sharpening applied, but the sharpening is working on a sharper image anyway on the wing, so we have this. So here, the Redmi Note 10 Pro is better in this uh, scenario. When it comes to close-up shots, both can get very close. The interesting thing is here on the first glance, you would say, ah, oh, the Note 10 Pro is a bit better. You don't get so close up, with the Redmi Note 10 Pro as with the wing. Same distance, by the way. This shows again the different in photo lengths that we have here on the main camera. The problem with the photo lengths of the main camera being so um, close up is that you don't get much shallow depth of field. So, or you don't get much um, in focus, basically. So you have a very, very uh, slim line of things that are in focus and here it's a bit of yeah more that can get in focus and i like this on the redmi note 10 pro a little bit more to be honest uh, the colors it's a bit artificially more boosted punchy and again more contrasty on the note 10 pro on the wing more natural and when we go to macro capabilities we have a dedicated macro cam on the note 10 pro clearly a win against the wing i would say but no because it's five megapixels only you get this photo you can zoom in a bit and you get this details but you can get very close with the wing and because of the photo length you can also get like macro like shots and i can get also uh, very very deep here into this what is it um, 12 megapixel photo that comes out so it is also a bit more maybe a bit more more mm, sharpening may be applied and a bit more uh, noise on the wing but it's very very close when it comes to the close-ups and uh, yeah i think it's a draw when it comes to close-ups maybe with a slight edge to the note 10 pro let's give it an edge to the note 10 pro when it comes to and this is the problem i noticed that already when taking the photos that the optics on the note 10 pro 
this is where Xiaomi was really saving money because it's not very good and you can see it even you have this 108 megapixels let's let's read this and compare it with the 64 megapixel and better optics on the wing it's a bit close up as well but the details level is just phenomenal on the wing in terms of two times zoom which i use here which is a toggle and it's a crop in so shouldn't have any worse informations because it's just cropping on the sensor and what we can see here also is a reflection of me taking the photo we don't see that so much on the wing which is interesting but you can see that here i can read everything on this paper here i can really read the title a bit but everything underneath is unreadable here i can read even the upper part here it's not possible and this is not even zoomed in this is the one-time shot and when i zoom in where it's cropping in and shouldn't lose any information but there's not much information on the note 10 uh, pro anyway it, you can see it algorithms are working and you can read it now the top sign but compare it with this here it's like night and day difference so zoom capabilities the wing is the clear winner we will see it in another example not only with text but uh, other things then i took a shot and some specialties here again the wing has a object tracking mode that is missing on the redmi note 10 pro and that allows me to create such a shot here with the wing which is pretty nice and uh, you can see the the car or the front of the car is sharp because this is what i was focusing on or tra tracking and you get this nice little effect here even though the car was not driving very fast on the note 10 pro it's like impossible to do it with the automatic mode because it doesn't have object tracking what you have to do is go into the pro mode and then you can set your own shutter speed and then you can experiment a little bit i had to take four or five shots to get this shot which is pretty close to the one that i got with the wing but still i think the wing has there the edge because it's easier uh, to do with the wing and object tracking then again lens sharpness uh, we can see again more contrasty a bit more warmer look this time especially here on the stone uh, on the wing so the wing has in general a bit more warmer look to it and a bit more cooler look on the note 10 pro and when we take a look at the optics it's just like the megapixels are not all you can see the optics it's just like night and day the wing is the better uh, photo photography device here definitely and also here more contrasty punchy look on the redmi note 10 pro i have to say i like this more on the redmi note 10 pro because it creates a better atmosphere when zooming in this time i don't see much of a difference maybe a bit more sharp but also a bit closer up on the wing uh, but colors i think a bit more warm again on the wing you can see it also on the grass a bit um, but here i like the shot of the note 10 pro a bit better, better because it's more dramatic in this case uh, zoom in again this is five times zoom darker exposure on the wing but uh, sharp when you can call it sharp <laughs> in this case but uh, this is like uh, on the note 10 pro super super bad so you can see the price difference here of the lg wing and the note 10 pro is not because um, lg is out of business or had like the wing this this super super fancy definitely probably also but it's simply in terms of cameras you can see that uh, the note 10 pro uh, is no slouch it is very good for a mid-ranger but the wing is definitely better so overall i would give the win to the wing it has a better be better ultra wide angle it has the better optics in general um, not always i like the colors but you can tweak them in post and make it your liking but sharpness and and, and over processing you cannot um yeah correct on the redmi note 10 pro so in general i think the lg wing is the winner what do you think write it down in the comment section and as always i will put down the links to the photos for you to take a look at uh, at home the original photos as well in the description box Tell me in the comment section what do you think, who is the winner, the clear winner in the camera department, the Redmi Note 10 Pro which is very very cheap, 280 euros right now and still very high and expensive, I think 700 euros, 600 maybe, you get it for 500 euros, the LG Wing, the last of its kind and uh, yeah. You can tell me in the comment section which, which device you think is better, the Redmi Note 10 Pro or the LG Wing. So this is everything for this little video. I hope you enjoyed this little video about those two phones. If you want to like this video, like it, share it and subscribe. And until the next time, bye.